Um, once you got that set up, then you go down, um, you add a picture. Don't use the default picture um, if you don't if you if you know how to do some editing. If you don't, it doesn't really matter. It's really simple. Picture's not important. Um, you just want something that's going to stand out in the news feed. You want something that's going to stand out about, against this Facebook blue. Um, that's why the notifications up here are red. They want something that's going to stand out. And so um, you know you want to do the same thing in your in your news feed. You want things that are, that are going to uh, that are going to catch people's eye as they're scrolling through their news feed so that they want to click on it and stop what they're doing and read it. Um, what you could do if you're just going to use the image straight from your website, so it's pulling this, it's pulling this image uh, from my, from this right here, it's pulling that image up there, or it's pulling one of the images, pulling this one, and it's automatically adding that in there. You could actually add more images, you could add the image um, that you, your own images created, um, or you could reposition this image around. You could do that same thing with the image that you want to add. So if I want to add this image, I could do the same thing. I'm not going to because it takes a little time to load it, and I don't want to freeze things up. Um, so, so find a picture that people that is going to catch people's eye on on Facebook and their newsfeed. I'm not going to go again. I'll go through all this stuff. This Facebook training is really, really um, extensive. I'm not going to go through all of it here. There's, it's impossible. I just want to show you how how simple it is so that you can get your minds going. Um, and in an advanced training in the advanced group, I'll, I'll show you guys, I'll, I'll reveal all, I'll tell you everything, and I'll give you guys um, answers to all your questions um, in that advanced training group. So um, look for that there. But right, right here real quick, let's just focus on the simplicity of it. Get an image that stands out on your news feed. Um, you can reposition that image, um, you know, how you want it. I, what I like to do personally is cut images off. So this is what's going to show on the ad. This image you know, if you're going to use a, a default image, if you're not going to create your own image, if it's going to pull from the website, then then get it uh, in a way to where people are going to want to click. So if that image is right there, it shows a lot of the dress. And so people might, it's, they might not click on it as much as if it was down, say, right there. If you see it right there, see how that image shows up right here? They're going to be like, oh, I want to see what the rest of that dress looks like. But if it's up here, you get, you're not going to, do that as likely because they, you can see the hanger, you can see a lot of the dress, and so you see more of the picture as opposed to right there where it's a little off and you're like, what, what's going on here? Let me click on this. So do things that are going to grab people's eye on Facebook. You don't want to be spammy, but you uh, do want to get your attention. You're going to